Well, she's open for none other than Johnny Cash and won a TUI for each of her past four albums, along with a whole heap of other awards too. We've managed to nab her before she tours her native Canada. It is so great to have you here, Tammy Nielsen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, absolutely fantastic. I must start by asking, have you really partied with the Osmonds? I have. How did you know I that? I read this. I was like, I have to ask this. Really? It was, it was the second generation Osmonds. Like, it wasn't Donnie and Marie. It was, it was like kids. Yeah, the Osmond kids. Yeah, and we were we were all performing in Branson, um, which is in Missouri. It's, it's like Vegas for retired uh, musicians or <laughs> country musicians. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of this bizarre little place in the States. And the Osmond brothers, all they had a show there in a theater there. Because they're like about son. a million of them or so, isn't there? There's five billion yeah. of them. Because <laughs> I think they're, I don't know if they're like Jehovah's or something. It's like they need to populate but the earth. Children. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they're doing a good job of that. That's you know? excellent. That's <laughs> yeah, good. That's good. Link to they have. were eyeing me up. I'm like, no, no, no. I am not populating this earth. Yeah. <laughs> but good. Well, we managed to nab you, really, didn't we, in New Zealand? You know, every now and again, you come across an artist who will stop you in your tracks, and you're one of them for me. Oh, oh, you know, every you. time I see you perform, I just am mesmerized. It's so nice. I wanted to know. A little bit of, of the history, though. How did you end up in New Zealand? Uh, well, how do I mean? How do any of us expats end up? It's usually love. Yeah. You know, it's a cute Kiwi boy. Yeah. Oh, Gets nice. suckered in by the <laughs> accent. You know. So yeah, I came here for love and uh, kind of left everything I knew over there and started over here, and that's been, gosh, like 13 years now this so, year. Obviously yeah. successful, though, because you've got two darling little boys. Yes, yes, they're pretty delicious. So I've got two boys out of the deal, and um, and, and still my husband, you know, oh, so oh, really, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, still, he's still in the picture. <laughs> what do they think when they see Mama on the screen? Because you're on, you performed at the Music Awards last year. You look so yeah. stunning in that yellow oh, dress. Thank do, you. They, do they go, that's my mum, yeah, whatever? I think they're, well, they're also at the age, you know, they're five and two and a half. And that's just normal for them. I don't yeah. know if that's going to click in until they're older. You know, they think it's normal that mummy sings. That's her job. Mm. You know, just like daddy does his job. And so it's kind of normal for them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think they'll be musical? Because you came from a musical family, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, well, um, I think that all kids are musical. I mean, most little ones just gravitate to be musical. But there are definite signs there, oh, for yes. sure. Charlie makes up his own little songs and... Um, which I, you know, then plagiarize and turn into hits. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, good. <laughs> it all goes to the, the university that's, fund, right? That's so. right. You're doing the dishes, <laughs> writing the hits. This is perfect. Um, let's talk about your album, uh, Don't Be Afraid. You know, we, we, when you research this album, you realise that around the world, people are putting it in their top tens and their top twenties. Mm. Um, it has just been so well received. You must be very proud of it. Oh, very. Yeah, it's 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 such a, an honor for that to happen for people to kind of connect with it this was about your after your, your dad died yeah right? so the, the the album is particularly special to me mm. and um, it was very much written it was written in the wake of losing him I'd already had the studio time booked and had to go in and I thought what am I gonna sing what am I gonna write this is just you know mm. I was just devastated and um, falling apart and so I just kind of, I guess, worked out my grief that way and wrote how I was feeling. And, and I think that it, the album kind of started to take shape when I came across songs of his. Um, the, the title track, Don't Be Afraid, is the last song that he was working on in the hospital. It's incredible. Yeah. I lost my father too, and listening to your album every time makes me cry. Oh, I'm sorry yeah, about but, that. But in a good way. <laughs> in, a good like way. A, in a very, very good way. Yeah. Oh, this didn't happen for you overnight, though, did it? This, uh, this success that we see you with today. No. I mean, it was a slog, wasn't it? <laughs> Just I started last year, and everything. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of sort of like sort of people turning you down before you got to where you needed to be. Oh, it always is. I mean, the music business is, you know, take two steps forward and ten steps backward, mm -hmm. and and that's how it is your whole career. And I'm sure it. Will continue but right now and it comes in waves and um, right now is when things are starting to kind of gain momentum uh, internationally which is really exciting uh, not quite sure about why the timing is when I have two children you know <laughs> it's like the most convenient time yeah, you've got loads of time <laughs> <laughs> well I'll tell you what we're going to come back in just a minute um, and speak some more to you and also that live performance is coming up Tammy Nelson is with us Don't Be Afraid is the album every person should not only own it but at least have a listen so a drinks break for us. We'll be back straight after this.
it is great to have you join us on the cafe for our first morning back of the new year. A little bit rusty, but we're getting there, aren't we? <laughs> and we are lucky enough Speak to have... Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we're lucky to have the amazingly talented Tammy Nielsen, who will be performing live for us very soon. Our first, though, Tammy, I have to ask you, I find this fascinating that you have got all this international success coming, you're big in New Zealand, and you essentially manage yourself, you do all your social media, everything. I do do all the social media side of it. I definitely have a little help. I'm, I'm self-managed in New Zealand with a team of, of people that help me at Southbound uh, Records. But um, it, internationally, I've just taken on management. So it I'm finally at the point where I'm like, take it. <laughs> <laughs> do this. I got to wipe my kid's bum. Yeah. <laughs> so you, yeah, it's it's a lot of juggling. So it's, it's good to have that because there's just no way you can do it all. Um, yeah, you can't be really superwoman. Leave. Although yeah. you actually are. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get where you're coming from. And, and, you know, uh, speaking of the music industry and the way that you manage yourself, uh, is that the the best way to do it now? Do you think? Oh, I don't yeah, know. You got, you got a little team, but you you basically yeah. got control of what's happening. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been great for me. It's a lot of hard work, and you have to have a lot of time and dedication and passion. And and I think everyone's different. It depends on the artist. There are some artists who are just wonderful and strong at just creating and they're useless at the details. I I just happen to have kind of both those things. However, when you're so, you start to get bogged down with those details and mm. it does, your creativity does suffer because mm -hmm. you, you're having to kind of find snatched moments to create. So, uh, but I, my personality is I, I tend to work well under pressure, thank God, because <laughs> that's, that's the only way that, that this would Give really you a deadline happen. and there you go. I must yeah. ask you, do you do your own hair? I do, <gasps> yeah. It's always got this incredible, every time I see you, you've got this amazing too. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, when you're on tour, I'm not at that point yet, I'm not Adele. I can't like have. <laughs> Somebody, fix yeah, me. I can't have a chick just pop out of the closet and like do my hair every night, which would be awesome. It'll but come. It'll come. Not there yet, but yeah, that's that's the big goal is to have someone that does my hair every day. <laughs> no, no, you deserve it, okay? So Forget management. <laughs> Give me a hairdresser. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of tour, you're about to go back to your native Canada. Yeah. And what's happening over there? Uh, well, just this year, so many international things have have these all these opportunities are opening up. Um, so I'm doing a, um, a three-week tour there, opening for Canadian artists across Canada, um, doing all these theater tours, which is going to be amazing. Um, but it's in the dead of winter, so not mm. the most practical choice. But you know, <laughs> um, and then going back to um, do do the Montreal Jazz Festival in the summer, and doing some more tours over there throughout the year. And I'm doing my first European tour this year as well. Wow. So you're going to be touring around New Zealand anytime soon? Yes, nice. I'm, I am in <laughs> yeah. May. Yeah. May is that the Thank window? <laughs> the window. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. So I'm I'm planning to tour around here in May and uh, doing doing a new show that I've. I curated it for the the Christchurch Jazz and Blues Festival, and it's called Songs of Sinners, oh. and it's um, the history of how uh, gospel and blues became rock and roll, and so it's all just wonderful, wonderful music that you don't always when you're an original artist you don't sing a lot of covers, so it's great to be able to explore all these amazing songs by you know Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan and Mavis Staples and Tom Waits and R Ray Charles. Oh wow, yeah. that sounds cool. Sounds yeah, really that's cool. going to yeah. be awesome. So um, good luck for the tour. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we are very lucky though because we're going to have a performance from Tammy very soon. Don't forget to check out her latest album, Don't Be Afraid Honestly. You will fall in love with it. And keep an eye on her website for the upcoming dates. And as I said, she'll be performing in just a few minutes. You do not want to miss it. Thank you so much, <laughs> Tammy. Yeah, thank you. We'll hear me. you very soon. Now let's go and check in with Holly. Stories. It is time for Tammy Nielsen. Take it away. Losing my mind from losing your love. Raising my eyes to the skies above, but I don't find nothing. Don't feel nothing but alone. No time to cry when the babies need feet and takes flying by with nothing new in between them. My soul is wearing thin. Time stretches on a fool's marathon ever since the day that you done gone. Holy Moses. Holy Moses. Holy Moses. Ooh, ooh wee. Have mercy on me. I cry, oh. Moses. Holy Moses, holy Moses, ooh, ooh, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. Ain't 
No, let us know, get up and go. Don't want to raise my weary head from my pillow. Cause it's bad in my luck. The good got stuck somewhere on down the road. Can't be bothered picking up my phone. I wish the whole damn world would just leave me alone. Stop knocking on my door. But nobody can see this burden on me. Back breaking, no one else gonna carry. Holy Moses. Holy Moses. Holy Moses. Ooh, ooh, we have mercy on me. I cry, Holy Moses. Holy Moses. Holy Moses. Ooh, ooh, we have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Losing my mind from losing your love Raising my eyes to the skies above But I don't find nothing Don't feel nothing but alone No time to cry when the babies need feet And days flying by with nothing Through in between them My soul is wearing thin Time stretches on a fool's marathon Me. I cry, holy Moses, holy Moses, holy Moses, ooh, ooh, we have mercy on me, 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 good God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me.